Deluge, 1933, directed by Felix E. Feist, starring Lois Wilson, Sidney Blackmer, and Peggy Shannon. A chronicle of life for a couple of people, following an epic cataclysmic event that destroys all major cities. What caught my eye with this film was its miniature work, which is incredible. I can't remember seeing any disaster sequences of this scale in anything before the 50s, honestly, especially given the relative newness of motion pictures at this point in history. Some consider this film one of the first natural disaster films. The special effects were handled by Ned Mann, whose work I previously praised in 1935's Things to Come. Unfortunately, the effect sequences make up very little of the actual film. It ultimately fails to match the epic scope those scenes convey, with the main story that only focuses on a handful of characters and their relatively minor quibbles, even though society literally just collapsed. Everyone seems surprisingly chill about living in a literal post-apocalypse too, strangely enough. It's strange watching characters act like it's just another day. You even see characters laughing and cracking jokes as they rummage through the rubble of society. There's also an awkward love triangle in this film, which feels unnatural, melodramatic, and isn't even resolved satisfactorily. This film is an adaptation of a novel by S. Fowler Wright from 1928. Wright was disappointed with the changes made to the story after seeing it, however, and advised his children against seeing it. Verdict? Meh. If you're a fan of practical effects, then the sequences where New York is destroyed are definitely worth checking out. But overall, this film just comes up short. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.